So I've been doing this Cityscape Skyline series for probably just about a year now, and it all began in window frames. I'd get old window frames and knock the windows out, and I would put um, I would put canvas behind it, and I'd put these cityscapes, so it was like looking out into an urban view, and you know, you could see a city from wherever you're sitting, you know. And as time has gone on, my wife noticed, and I think it's a pretty solid observation, that all of these cityscapes that I'm doing is, is my way of, of healing that sense of 9-11 that jostled all of us, I think, after everything went down. It's just my way of putting all of those little, uh, you know, rhetorical subconscious pieces back together in my brain to, to heal that moment in time when you saw, you know, our country getting ripped to shreds. So um, this series, I guess, is multidimensional. It's me living out in the suburbs and not seeing the city skyline like I used to all the time and being able to get immersed in that again. And then also on a more subconscious level, I'm, you know, taking those uh, uh, feelings after 9-11 that all of us you know, have in varying degrees, and it hit me pretty, uh, pretty solid, like a, like a ton of bricks. I remember, uh, you know, the, the anniversary several years after. I was always very cognizant of it and thinking about it, and I take myself back to where I was. And on 9/11, I was actually in Venice, Italy, and had to snake my way between uh, Cinque Terre in Italy, the Poor Man's Riviera, and Paris and London, and made, finally made my way back to the States. And, really didn't see much of the imagery of the planes going to the buildings until almost a week later when I came back. And by that point, there was a moratorium on all those images. But uh, at any rate, you know, my dad was the one that told me on the phone that the World Trade Center, one of the, the first hour had fallen. It's only about the whole thing when I called him from a hotel room in Venice for the first time in a week. And I started in Paris and made my way down to Venice. I'm sure he was pretty freaked out. But uh, <clears throat> at any rate, this series has been... Uh, delightful on a lot of fronts and uh yeah so uh, enjoy and uh that's my story and i'm sticking to it